Many died in blood clash as rival bandits fight in Katsina. Two bandit groups clashed at Ilela village of Safana local government area of Katsina state, leaving many of them dead and many others injured. Daily Trust reports. The clash between the Mani Saki camp and Dankarami supported by Abu Radi camp occurred last Thursday. Sources told our correspondent that Saki, now a repentant bandit, had accepted the government amnesty and was seen as an outcast by many other camps in the forest. It was gathered that his acceptance of the amnesty forced Saki to relocate to Ilela village to begin a new life, but some of his boys refused to move with him. A source said some bandits led by one Danda from Alhaji Dankarami gang had carried out an attack in Ilela area, but that the other gang repelled them, causing them to abandon their weapons, including anti-aircraft gun, which were all taken away by the attackers mm -hmm. as bounty. They infuriated them and they have not forgotten it. Secondly, a young girl brother to Saki Mani had at one time kidnapped the wife of one of the men from Dangwati side and was made to pay 500,000 ransom before her release. Other sources said Saki's younger brother, identified as Chawa, and his wife were killed, while three others, Kabiru, Tanimo, Sulaiman, were injured and presently receiving treatment in Katsina's town. The two factors were said to have contributed to the build-up of hostilities and foiled enmity between both factions. It was also learned that the Saki-led faction had prevented some bandits from entering the area to carry out attacks or even take their livestock for feeding, despite the abundance of fodder in the area. According to reports, Dankarami Dangwati and Mai Komi launched a reprisal attack to retrieve the anti-aircraft gun, said to be worth 5 million. They were said to have entered Ilela area around 5 p.m. on Thursday in their numbers, according to some residents. There were more than 300 armed robbers. Sources said on their arrival, they began shooting indiscriminately in the village, unknown to them that the Saki-led gang was already aware of their mission. Another source, however, said it was a clash of interest between those in support of a peace deal with the government and those against it. One of the Saki-led member, Mani, who is in favor of a peace deal has left the forest and settled in Ilela, but did not surrender his weapons to the government. So he is one of the targets of those who are not in favor of the peace deal. So what brought the Dangwati faction to Ilela was to get that man. When they came, they began a house to house search. In the bid to get him when they got to the house of Sakim Power Mohazu, who is the leader of Butchers, they found a den gun and suspected that he was among the vigilants who are also their enemies. He told them he was not a vigilant, but they shot and killed him. They also injured four other persons, Kabiru Tanimu. Nuhu and Sulaiman in the village who are now receiving treatment in a hospital.
the source said the attackers spent about eight hours operating in the village where they set vehicles and shops ablaze and carted away many valuables but without accomplishing their mission of getting money who is in favor of peace with the government thank you for listening to this news um my viewers that is one thing about being a, a member of a deadly group once you are a member of a deadly group it used to be very hard and difficult to come out it used to be very very difficult to come out very very difficult to pull out look at what is affecting this um, this young man now he has accepted his fate and has decided to pull out of the deadly group but the group is saying no and refusing so because they don't want him to leave they decide to launch an attack and that is what you see him going through now you see that so that is why it's not even advised able to even identify yourself at first with any dangerous group because it doesn't pay nothing good comes out of them at all nothing good it is better you be yourself it is better you remain even if you are going through challenges remain in that challenges until god answers your prayers you see well he's so lucky that he has not been seen but his search has taken lot of lives in katsina in katsina innocent lives for the matter so it is very important that um something fast should be done by the nigerian um, army not even the police so that the there will be peace in katsina because as it is now i'm very sure that katsina is facing a very very tough period now all right so um please and please my viewers i plead on you to come in and air your own opinion concerning this matter because it concerns you too please deem it fit to click on the red subscribe button if you are new leave your comment below the comment box as you get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you